In every fighting game, you will encounter certain archetypes. The martial artist, Shoryuken! the wrestler, and of course, the bright green electric jungle man. The main kinds of fighter. Fighting game roster sizes are always expanding, though, with a constant need for fresh new characters that some fighting games interpret as an open invitation to add nightmare-inducing creep shows that would be more at home in a horror movie. Don't take our word for it, get a load of these seven creepy fighters that keep us up at night. The roster of 2013's Killer Instinct reboot is already pretty horrifying, boasting as it does a skeleton pirate, a cursed mummy, and worst of all, a battle toad. I'm crashing this party! Easily out harrowing all of these, however, is the character Hisako, who is a Japanese Onryo, or Avenging Spirit. Or, yeah, basically her off of the ring. Hisako was killed 500 years ago while defending her village from bandits, and then, to make things worse, her spirit was deliberately disturbed by evil killer instinct mega corporation Ultra Tech, all of which hasn't left her in the best mood, as you can imagine. As such, Hisako is now using her ring girl powers and a big knife on a stick to beat the ass of everyone in Killer Instinct, only much more creepily than that sounds. That's because Hisako is constantly teleporting, contorting, and scurrying around the place in a deeply unsettling manner that is best shown off in her ultimate move, in which she scuttles across the stage, possesses her enemy, and then crunches them up internally before popping back in for a final jump scare. Nope, too scary. I'm just going to finish rounds normally from now on. Somehow worse. Okay, I'm moving on. Oh, what another ring girl? Okay, well, while Zappa from the Guilty Gear series does come with an Onryo of his own, the context is a bit different, as Zappa isn't actually conscious during any of his fights. Instead, Zappa plays unwilling host to one of several spirits that can possess his body, which explains his unusual fighting stance. Can't be good for your spine. The most powerful of these spirits is called Esko, and is, again, basically the girl from the ring, who will pop in and take charge whenever she feels like it, sometimes even in mid-conversation. <laughs> Yikes. Esko is an extremely active ghost, it has to be said, and a match with Zappa will quickly turn into an entire ghost train's worth of spooks, spectres, and weird faces where there absolutely shouldn't be faces. <laughs> Scariest of all is Zappa's instant kill destroy move, in which Esko shows his opponent a creepy videotape with deadly results. Plus, there's the potential copyright infringement lawsuit as well. Nothing scarier than that. The jewelers carve their souls into their swords to fend for their lives. If food is on the line, I better win this! If you ignore the Ghost Pirate and the Demonic Knight and the literal vampire, most of the fighters in the Soul Calibur series are somewhat regular humans, which is perhaps why Voldo, a blindfolded, gyrating crab person in fetish wear, stands out so much. <laughs> Voldo is creepy in so many different directions, it's hard to know where to start. I mean, okay, obviously it's the outfit. <laughs> But then there's his weird, creepy moveset that includes a lot more upside-down exorcist walking that I'm comfortable with. <laughs> and let's not forget the fact that he only speaks in guttural hisses. Versus Xionghua. <laughs> Nor can we overlook his backstory, in which he was the right-hand man of a wealthy Italian weapons merchant who had his sailors dig him a 50-meter-deep treasury and tomb known as the Money Pit, then had Voldo kill those who'd worked on it to keep its location a secret. His name was Voldo. A dark vestige of the talented man who had once served as Verci's right hand. 
Voldo then sealed himself in the money pit with his master's corpse as the tomb's guardian, killing any would-be grave robbers and, presumably, hand-making his fabulous costumes from naturally occurring deposits of fur and fishnet found deep underground. To be fair, he does make it work. Fighters ready. Engage. <laughs> Hugh is one of the most mysterious characters in all of Street Fighter. He's a robot, I think. Maybe a cyborg, private eye, or possibly murderer who wants to. I'm not sure, actually. No idea. <laughs> What I am sure of is that Q is absolutely terrifying, from his featureless metal mask to the people fleeing from him in fear at the start of a match, to the way that he never says anything and just stares at the shattered bodies of his defeated opponents with the inquisitive detachment of a serial killer. You win. Fan theories as to Q's identity include a brainwashed M. Bison, a shadowloo controlled cyborg, and what remains of Chun Li's dead Interpol agent father. All of which are less scary than just terrifying, unknowable Q, the free will murder robot. Oh god, he's looking right at me. One of the most horrifying creatures in all of video games, let alone fighting games, Yokai Kusaregedo from the Samurai Showdown series was once a kind man who was transformed after his death into a hungry demon cursed with an insatiable appetite. This makes him a formidable opponent, as Kusaregedo now stands 15 feet tall and weighs close to 600 pounds. Where his opponents use swords and other bladed weapons, Kusaregedo uses the sharpened, exposed bones of his own forearm as a weapon, which is just as unpleasant as it sounds. Maybe more. Also, be in no doubt that the hungry ghost part of Kusaregedo's whole deal is meant to be taken literally, as most of his attacks that aren't him jabbing you with his own sharpened bones are him trying to take a bite out of you, or in the case of his ultimate attack, which was censored in Samurai Showdown's international release, actually eating you whole. Apart from the skull. Probably saving that for later. Round 2 Fight! Tekken is the fighting series with all the bears and kangaroos and lizards, so it's not unheard of to be facing off against a non-human Tekken opponent. Even so, that martial menagerie pales in comparison to True Ogre, the final form of the game's penultimate boss, Ancient Ogre, who is like every scary demon you've ever heard of, rolled into one terrifying package. You win. The red eyes and the horns and the many, many teeth are a concern, certainly, as is the ability to fly and breathe fire. But for me, the scariest thing about this horrifying chimera is his right arm, which starts out as a big snake in Tekken 3 and Tekken Tag Tournament, and by the time of Tekken Tag Tournament 2, has evolved into a twisting mass of several snakes, none of which look too happy to be here. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Mask. You can only be evil! Pleasant surprise. The Wheel of Fate is turning! At first glance, Relius Clover from the Blaze Blue series of fighting games doesn't seem all that creepy. Unless you count the outfit, I guess. But dig deeper into the lore, and it turns out that Relius is a mad scientist known as the Mad Puppeteer and is utterly devoid of empathy, only interested in furthering his creepy research. Finish! This research involves experimentation on humans and is what led to the transformation of his wife into the brainwashed battle doll known as Ignis. And which also lead to the twisted and inhuman torture of Relius's enemies, aka his opponents in the Blaze Blue games. <laughs> Your soul has grown quite a bit since last I've seen you. This is most clearly seen in his Astral Heat finishing moves, in which Ignis will grab his opponent, and then the scene will switch to Relius' private torture chamber, where the walls are covered in blood and the shadows of swinging corpses move across the walls. How will you use it? Astral finish! 
Here, each individual character is subjected to a different grotesque experiment to satisfy Relius's scientific curiosity, ranging from being chained to coffins, Your time has come. hooked up to various scientific machines, Let the experience begin. and yikes, boiled in a big flask by a giant Bunsen burner. Let the experience begin. Remember when fighters would just knock you out with a big dragon punch? Good times. Let the experience begin. The there you have it, those were the creepiest fighting game characters who could do a successful job swap with someone scary from a horror game. Did we miss your favourite nightmarish fighters? We're the worst. Get at us about it in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, how about dropping us a like and subscribing for more videos like this every week on the channel. Thanks, bye!